Hey, welcome to Devon Think for Historians, a new step-by-step -step guide for how to use uh, the Devon Think Pro Office software platform to build a database of archival documents. Uh, my name is Avi Gail Oren, and I'm a historian. And my name is Ada Barla, and I'm an engineer and a process efficiency expert. And I got uh, Ada to come along for this ride with me because I had learned how to use Dev and Think all by myself when I wrote my dissertation. And it was wonderful and made the writing process and the research process so much more efficient. But I knew that there was still room for improvement, that I was still doing silly, redundant work um, that didn't need to happen. And I knew that I didn't have the expertise to solve those problems. Yeah, and so we teamed up and we took a, a hard look at Abigail's workflow and we've made some improvements as well as we've created a step-by-step -step guide and resource for all of you to help you understand the, the reasons why you might want a database, the benefits that they bring to your research, as well as the step-by-step -step or click-by-click -click, um, information that you need to actually implement the database that you need to do great work. Yeah, absolutely. So what we've done is divide this um, this course, this tool into two phases. We have the starting up guide and we have the super user guide. Um, what's the difference? In starting up, what we're gonna show you is the basics. What do you need to think about before you start a, b a database? Um, what, um, what kind of organizational scheme will work best for you in your project? Uh, and then we'll show you how do you like literally go and new database create, you know, import documents, just the real basics. Um, and then how to search and find those documents once you've moved and put all that information into the database. Now the super user guide is even cooler because what we've done is create custom um, templates and scripts that eliminate some of the redundancies from the historian's workflow from that point at which you go from research and storing documents to writing about them and citing them particularly citing them we have a really cool citation workaround here for you um, and so um, you know whether you only want to um, learn how to get started or you want to go like full-on expert you know you can choose um, to do the first half the starting up or also add on the um, super user uh, section of the guide. Um, but at the end of the day, what our goal is with Devon Thinking for Historians is to have you mindfully doing your research so that you are extra efficient and maximize um, your, um, not just your speed, but the quality of historical research you're doing when you start writing. We want you to spend more time writing and less time trying to find things. Um, we want you to see better connections, to make new connections in your data, and um, and just to be happy, you know, to be happier, to take to take your mind off some of the um, moving pieces and parts that are just like inherent and endemic to to the process of of moving from the writing stage. I'm sorry, the research stage to the writing stage. So um, we hope that you'll check out Devon Think for Historians. Um, and yeah, it's really it's the only thing like it that exists. We've brought together a historian. We've brought together an engineer and um, you know it's it's for historians by historians but with a little something extra Ada <laughs> plus me so, um, yeah so uh, for more information um, check out um, the website using the link below excellent see you soon see you soon